हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू कैट प्रैक्टिस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप अ शीट मेटल मॉडल इन ऑटोडेस्क इन एंटर सॉफ्टवेयर इन दिस वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज पंच टूल और अ फॉर्मिंग टूल इन ऑटोडेस्क इन एंटर सॉफ्टवेयर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विथ टूडेज ट्यूटोरियल गो टू न्यू टेक अ शीट मेटल पार्ट इन मिलीमीटर एंड गो टू क्रिएट नाउ Take a 2D sketch and select the exit plane. This will be the top plane. Rotate the view. Now go to rectangle command and from here select two point center rectangle. Now select the midpoint and here take the width as 110. Tab and the height will be 50. Okay, this will be the rectangle profile. Now finish sketch. Now go to face command and apply. Okay, this is the base of the sheet. Now select this face and go to create sketch. Rotate the view. Now go to point command. and place a point at midpoint okay now finish sketch this is the point which we have generated now go to punch tool and from here select square emboss and open now go to top view now here this is the by default values but we want size according to our geometry so go to size the angle will remain 30 from here the width will be 40 mm the length will be of 100 mm the co top corner radius will be of 5 mm and the height of emboss will be One M. Okay, so this will be the complete size. Now go to finish. Now change the view. Now it will emboss the sheet outwards. Back view, it will look like this. The punch will act from this side. Draw the sheet downwards. Okay. Rotate the view. Now we want this profile. as you can see rotated this is on this emboss profile these profiles the slot profile so select this face go to create sketch take a point command and place the point over here now go to dimensions from center point the distance of the point will be 37 now go to horizontal constraint select this point and select the new point okay now go to finish sketch now again we will select the punch tool and now we will select the square emboss and go to open now you can see the by default values are again now go to size once again the angle will be 30 degree width will be of 35 mm length will be of 100 or oh, 11 mm top radius of 5 mm and height of 1 mm this is height of emboss and finish okay now you can see the slotted profile over here from back view it will look like this okay now we want to make the pattern of this so go to rectangular pattern select this feature go to direction 1 select this line at direction 1 now it will ask you the count 
the count which we want is six and the distance between each profile will be of 16 mm okay or 15 mm it will be 15 mm okay now press ok now these profiles are made now we will make this flange profile so go to flange and select the back side profile or back side edge this edge similarly this edge rotate the view the back side edge rotate the view here also the back side edge now the by default the height of flange is 25 mm but we need a flange of 7 mm and apply ok cancel now you can give any color you can take it any aluminium dark or you can take any of them you can take the chrome polished ok it's up to you so now we will make the flat pattern of this so go to create flat pattern so this will be the flat pattern rotate it this will be the flat pattern of this go back to part ok so this was a basic tutorial to how to use the punch tool command in autodesk inventor in software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you